Hi, my name is Jeff Goldblum, J-A-F-F-G-O-L-D-B-L-U-M. I'm a guest correspondent for Wired, and I'm going to be reviewing and testing some travel gadgets. Please, may I have the first gadget? I'm being handed... I don't like it already, but it's plasticky. Oh! What the heck is this? And this looks like an, you know, something requiring an embouchure. You know, that's like that's that's Christmas. So this thing releases. What the hell is going on here? World's tiniest vacuum. Do you say vacuum, vacuum, or vacuum? It's USB cable powered. It has strong suction power. Uh, the less said about that, the better. A uh, reusable filter. Love it. Uh, use it for crumbs on the shirt after eating, and it works perfectly. And that's an Amazon customer, and he or she uh, gave it five stars. This is a joke for a vacuum. Terrible to suck up anything. It's Colby. C-O-L-B-I-E. Unusual spelling for Colby. I would have gone with, and I've known other Colbys, C-O-L-B-Y, like the cheese. Colby gives this one out of five stars. Well, wait a minute. If they, if, if Colby gives it one out of five stars and the review is that bad, it's terrible, she says, to suck up anything, how does that rate a one? Why would she give it a one? Is that, you know, being polite or gracious or I uh, give it zero. If that's how you feel about it, give it zero. I don't understand this rating system. Here's my feeling. Uh, Colby, you couldn't be more wrong, in my humble opinion. You say it's terrible to suck up anything. It's fantastic. At least if it's sprinkles on a plate. Uh, you know, there's wet meat on a shag rug. I don't know if that would do anything with that. For sprinkles on a, on a glass plate, a porcelain plate from Ikea, uh, Excellent. It, every single sprinkle, it didn't miss a sprinkle. It did it in no time at all. 10 gold blooms out of a possible 10 gold blooms. That's my feeling. I'm going to be handed the next gadget. Thank you, Mr. Gadget Hander. Okay. Wow. Already, uh, this is called Pocket Talk. Oh, well, here it is. Now that I've turned it on, I might have in one more second realized this myself because it says... Espanol, Spanish, Spain, uh, English, U.S. With Pocket Talk, uh, a two-way voice translator device, you can travel to 133 countries around the world and communicate with confidence. You can accurately translate up to 82 languages, even though they happen in 133 countries. I guess they've really figured that out. Several of those countries speak the same language. And dialects in the palm of your hand using the best transcription and translation engines in our library. Incredible real-time translator. Quote, Star Trek in real life. And, and out of the five possible stars, you know what he gives it? Five, five stars. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, Delta Tran starts off saying, crap, crap won't even turn on. Now, okay, so that's very clear. One star. Does nobody have the courage to give it no stars? My golly. Hello, device with a long name. It just translated what I said. Excuse me, um, can I have that uh, omelet with no meat? Disculpe. Puedo tener esa tortilla sin carne? They got, uh, 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 Mr. Waiter, uh, disculpe. Uh, Puedo tener esta tortilla sin carne? My wife speaks French to the kids. We've got a couple of kids, and she speaks English beautifully and French beautifully, but she speaks kind of exclusively French to the kids. And I speak en petit peu, which means just a little bit. And so oftentimes, I feel a little bit, you know, like that. I could use this at home. I could use this at home. 10 gold blooms out of a possible 10 gold blooms. Be quiet now, how you shut the, how you shut the machine up. I like the way you handle it. You could work on um, a Wheel of Fortune. What the heck is this? Well, I, the graphics are interesting me. 
well, it looks like a camera of some kind, and it's for looks like it's for kids because it's got that stuff. It's a gadget. I'm oh, oh oh maybe that's how you take a picture. Maybe I go like this, and I I just heard heard it click. I think I just took a picture of something. Paper shoot camera. That sounds like rock paper scissors. That sounds like some kind of game. These revolutionary digital cameras take photos like a film camera, uh, giving you that film aesthetic without having to go through the trouble of developing it. You can simply upload all your images to your computer for easy access. I dropped it in the toilet briefly while high. There's a lot of information in that first sentence. I'm not even done with the sentence. And it still works. Some filters work way better in different lighting. Carson W. has, um, has given it four out of a five stars. I can't believe I waited six months for this toy camera. It takes photos, but the quality is not much better than an old Instamatic. Don't waste your time and money. Oh, by Robert J. This is Robert J. Doesn't want to reveal his last name. Gives it one star. So for me to test, what I would have to test, I'm not gonna get high and I'm not gonna drop in the toilet. That's first of all. Who can I, here, it's Catherine, can I take a picture of you? Come here, watch this. Keep the cameras rolling for heaven's sakes. Okay, watch this, watch this. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. I've done it. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Big, big hand for, for, for Catherine. Okay, so um, first of all, my eye and, uh, and sense of framing and composition is impeccable. I give myself, 10 out of 10 goblins for the for the choice of subject and for the framing. It's almost like Citizen Kane where I include the ceiling in the shot. I love it. I love it. I don't know what um, what Robert J is talking about. It looks like an old Instamatic. I like it, and that's good enough for me. I gave it I give it 10 goblins out of a possible 10 goblins. Next gadget, please. This is the classic. I believe this is the Tom Cruise, you know. Wait a minute, something just dinged. I don't know if you heard it, I heard it. Ray-Ban Stories, Wayfair, integrates the best of your phone with the timeless frame, bringing you a new way to capture and share your adventures. Ah, ah. Uh, comes with touch control, dual 5MP, here we go again with the abbreviations Dual 5 MP, I'm gonna ask in a second what that is, camera, audio charging case, my eye fell upon that immediately, and Facebook View app. First of all, MP, well I'm sure this, this techno crowd knows it, but what's, what's 5 MP camera? Megapixel. Megapixel. Did everybody else know that too? Carlos, wait, excellent, that's the review. And he gives it five stars. Stopped working after a week of light use. Uh, and they give it one star. So there's all that. I would test it, but I, 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 I still don't know what to do with it. What? I got you. Okay. So you're going to put them on, and then there's a button right here. Okay. So, so, okay, and we can test it. Okay. Uh, once again, I need a volunteer. Catherine, please come join me on this set. Um, Excuse me. Um, I'm sorry. What's your What's your name? Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Uh, my name is Jeff. Say, um, do you know how to get to the um, the Statue of Liberty? Just that way, and then that way. Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Uh, my name is Jeff. Fantastic. First of all, so I love it. I suppose you could put this technology in any frame. I myself uh, favor the Jacques Marie Maj frame, uh, you know, of which I've, you know, with whom I've collaborated. We have the Jeffs. We have, so I'm, I myself am wearing the Jeff now. So you could do this technology on the Jeff. Uh, I wouldn't always use it in that uh, creepy fashion that I did, uh, you know, but it's, it would be good for a lot of uses. I think that's creative, has creative potential. 10 gold blooms out of a possible 10 gold blooms. I'm a positive guy. I, I give good reviews to everything, don't I? Please bring the Next gadget, which is the final gadget. I love the way you do that. That's fantastic. I love that. What the heck is this? Well, first of all, there's a thing. Looks like I'm to blow it up. 
Ooh. No matter how far off the grid you go, the M-powered Lucci Outdoor 2.0 inflatable solar lantern keeps you out of the dark for up to 24 hours between charges. And it's completely solar, just add sun. Wow, the best. This is my second Lucci light. The first one lasted a decade, and this one will too. Startha gives it uh, five stars. I have a dud, certainly. It holds air. 12 plus hours solar input, holds no charge, two hours best, then totally kaput. Denise gives a one star. She sounds like she's she's talking about more than just, you know, gadgets here. Okay, so here we go. Already, that's about enough for me. Wait a minute, just a second. <coughs> Come on, Goldie, let's go. And that's the old lung power. Hey, that's the old lung power that I knew was there. Hey, and that's from one lung power. One will do it. That's already a good review for me. I thought I was going to have to, you know, for a half an hour. Ooh, a foo, a foo. One. That's one gold bloom. All my gold bloom air is in that thing right now. Hey, this is now a little more valuable than the than the simple device, right? Wired team, can we please, whoever's in charge of this sort of thing, can we please dim? Yes, further, further, as dim as you dare, fully dark, dark, pitch black. Look, okay, look, horror movie, love story. Horror story, love story. You see the lighting? There, there, there. I love you, my darling, I love you. I'll get you yet, I'll get you yet. Ah, I love you, I love you so much. You see what I mean? See how, see what you can do with the lighting, manipulating the lighting. Well, it's very bright. It's very good. I love it. This gets a full, another 10 gold. I've given away, I don't know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 stars. I mean, gold blooms. I've given away all my gold blooms. I don't know how many gold blooms I have in me. I don't want to give away all my gold blooms. But anyway, that's, there's the thing, and it looks very, very, you know, I wonder if you can get high and drop this in the toilet too, and what would happen, but don't do not do that. Well, anyway, there we go. I like it. Okay, well, that's all five gadgets. So here's my question. What did you think of those gadgets? This is Jeff Goldblum, wired correspondent, guest correspondent, signing off. Till I see you again, signing off. Thank you.